basically the first sporting event I attended. I did not attend as, um, as a spectator, but I worked one of the refreshment stands. And, uh, you know, it was, it was easy work. All you had to do was serve Cokes and hot dogs and nachos. I mean, you really couldn't go wrong with it. You got to eat the nachos and hot dogs and drink Cokes too. And as a student, that free stuff was great. I waitressed. I think I waitressed at just about every establishment. I uh, waitressed at the Hilton. Um, I worked um, the refreshments. I worked as a um, teaching assistant in the economics department. Thankfully, I never had to actually teach. I only graded the papers and such. Um, and, um, you know, I, I held a whole bunch of different jobs now that I think back at it. Um, I worked in the library. Um, I, I worked, oh, I worked in student government, and so it was uh, just about every job there was. You know, there were so, I worked in the, uh, the game room. They had a game room down in the UC, and so most of the jobs I worked with came along with free food, so it was all good. We <laughs> had a rather colorful employment history on campus because I not only worked in the dorms uh, as a, a resident advisor, I worked for the intramural department where I supervised the officials in the basketball league and I was the czar of the football league for another time. And my involvement with basketball and even football was through the intramural department, uh, which one might describe as the uh, outlet for frustrated jocks who weren't good enough to play on university teams and I was certainly one of those, uh, those frustrated jocks. But uh, I love playing football, it was flag football, I love playing basketball. And so in addition to uh, forming a team and playing in the league, uh, uh, I identified an employment opportunity because you have to have people to organize the leagues and to uh, officiate the games and to make sure the facilities are open. So there are, there, are, there are jobs to be done. Well, I started working for U of H as a student. Mr. Bertman brought me into his office and asked if I could um, be um, an, a student assistant and so basically I made copies of all the music, I um, logged all the music into the library, I totally, me and my friend Emily, we were attached at the hip, <laughs> were hired together and, and we literally just dug into music and just catalog, catalog, catalog for three years. We um, copied all the music, we printed all the drill, we just did, you know, anything and everything. I hemmed pants for the marching band. Like, you name it, I did it. If I wasn't in class, I was working in that office. So it was a great uh, opportunity to earn some pocket change, some spare cash, and, uh, you know, that along with being a dorm resident advisor uh, actually made my university uh, experience from a financial standpoint uh, 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 quite easy. I mean, we were able to manage it very well. If your room and board is paid for and you have some pocket change, and tuition at the time was, uh, was very low. It was one of the great bargains in, uh, in education to go to a state university in Texas. Uh, and I hope it's still that way for those of you who are going now because it certainly helped quite a lot of us to move from our uh, station in life, however we grew up, to get an education and have employment opportunities that might not be available had we not gone to the university. My husband and I, we met, we met on campus. And actually, you, you asked about where I worked, so we worked at, uh, there was a place called Telefund, which was calling alumni and asking them for money. That was the job. And both my husband and I worked there, and that's where we met. And then when we decided to get married, we decided that we wanted to get married on probably what I think is the most beautiful venue, the Religion Center on campus. When I graduated, I didn't really quite know what I was going to do you know, do as far as a job was concerned. I hadn't really, you know, found anything I was just like dying to do yet. And uh, Mr. Bertman agreed to keep me on as an admin assistant, um, you know, kind of until I could get on my feet. And so I stayed working for them um, starting in the fall, I guess that would have been of 2005. And I guess in October I got an offer here. He had actually set up an interview for me and got me a job here and I've Aside from moving to Tucson for a year and a half, I've worked here ever since, and I can't say that I'll probably ever go anywhere else. I just love it too much here. You know, I've, I've moved departments, but, you know, my, my love for this university is just too deep, and I won't leave. <laughs> They'll have to force me out. <laughs>